an economic game changer is rising from the sea just a few miles from the bustling heart of Colombo, Sri Lanka's largest city. At the end of this year, Colombo Port City will be ready for business. The iconic Port City project is expected to draw more than 5 million visitors annually and create more than 100,000 jobs by 2030. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at Colombo Port City, Sri Lanka's city of the future. But before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Colombo's business district is a leafy, lush oasis in the heart of Sri Lanka. But across the bay, just a few kilometers away, the future looks like another world entirely. The site of Colombo Port City is being reclaimed from the sea with 15 square kilometers of office blocks and apartments built on sandy soil at an average height of 40 meters above sea level, or around 100 feet. Colombo's Port City is a $1 billion development project set to transform the Sri Lankan capital when it is completed in 2022. The country's economic game changer will include parks, hotels, and apartments, as well as shops and restaurants, all lining the shore of Colombo's Bay to the north of the city center. When complete, the city will cover 3.2 square kilometers and include luxury apartments, a hotel, marinas, an art museum, and shopping malls in what is now an industrial wasteland. The government hopes to use it to turn around Colombo's fortunes and make the city more attractive for foreign investment. The project will replace rows of rundown warehouses with high-rise condominiums, hotels, and office towers. The city will be linked to Colombo's central business district by a network of elevated walkways. To begin with, the nation required the China Harbor Engineering Company, CHEC, to invest $1.4 billion in order to reclaim the 665 acres, 2.6 square kilometers, of new land. In exchange, 43% of it on a 99-year lease has been given to the company. After several years of dredging, the new city is beginning to take shape as construction work picks up. Concrete slabs are being moved by massive cranes under the supervision of Chinese experts, while earth movers are loading tons of sand into trucks. Access for small boats and yachts has already been made possible by dredging a river that runs through the reclaimed territory. The city is expected to generate $13 billion in revenue over 25 years. China Communications Construction Company, or CCCC, signed an agreement in June 2017 with Sri Lanka Ports Authority, SLPA, to develop the Special Economic Zone, which will be a free trade zone for all businesses except casinos and brothels. The entire area will be leased to multinational firms, banks, and other companies to create a financial center close to one of the world's busiest ports. Sri Lanka says it's too early to say how much money will be generated for this project, but officials are vowing that all profits generated will be invested in infrastructure development in Sri Lanka. Concerns regarding China's long-term strategic goals also exist as a result of its escalating global assertiveness. While India is concerned about the expanding Chinese presence in Sri Lanka, which has historically been seen to be in its backyard, Sri Lanka decided to polish out a new relationship with China for its development. The Sri Lankan government wants to develop a special economic zone with a port, hotel, and some high-end housing. It's designed to be one of the most energy-efficient cities in South Asia, with most of its energy needs being met by solar panels. But it could become a hub for China. Many believe this will help tighten Beijing's grasp on this part of Asia in years to come. Whatever the future is, the dream is that Colombo Port City will be the city of the future. How futuristic will this city be? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.